What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video we've got a head-to-head -head comparison between LOL Miner version 1.63 versus 1.64 versus BZ Miner version 12.2.0. Do me a favor, hit the like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Let's take a look at the first rig here. So this is Tatooine and this is the rig we're going to use to test at a static pool. As you can see, we're on version 1.63 at the moment, and we've got just a couple of minutes of uptime here. Um, now, this particular pool was provided to me by LOL Miner as well as the pool operator from ViperNet, and this is Ghost Pool, and this should have static difficulty so that we can have a fair comparison across all of them. I did run into one little issue here trying to update all my rigs and get 1.64 installed on all of them. Let me just show you what I ran into here. So we are on version 1.64 on this rig. I updated this rig first to the latest version of Hive and 1.64 was available. However, now looking at my flight sheet here, we've got an error message saying that 1.64 is an unsupported version. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. And as you can see on the rest of the rigs here, we'll go into the flight sheet and take a look at our options here. So on this one, what you're gonna see is no option to select 1.64. So not exactly sure what's causing this, but we'll get to the bottom of it here in just a moment. And then I will be right back with you guys. Okay, and I'm back, and it has been almost exactly 24 hours. As you can see, we're at 23 hours and 57 minutes. Let me refresh. We got about two minutes left to go. And by the way, I did figure out how to fix the issue that I was having without having access to 1.64. Uh, thanks to Keaton from Hivon for letting me know. I just simply needed to clear the cache in my browser, and it is available now, so let me show you. See, now we have 1.64 available. Anyway, so we can continue on with the test. Let's go ahead and pull up the hive shell and see where we're at. Okay, we're at 19,406. We got just a few seconds left. We'll just go ahead and take whatever the next snapshot is that pops up. So as you can see, efficiency is somewhere between 7.8 and 8.3. And let's just go ahead and copy that. And we're going to put this into a little spreadsheet that I've started. So these are the cards that I have at the moment and we'll keep track of those for 1.64 and BZ Miner 12.1.1 and we actually finished out at 19,422 shares so let's go ahead and edit this real quick all right now we can begin LOL Miner version 1.64 and I'll be back with you guys here in just a little bit. Okay, so we've got 1.64 up and running. We got about nine minutes worth of uptime and I just wanted to take note of my hash rate and my wattage. So let's go into Hive Shell real quick. Uh, looks like we increased in efficiency just slightly, not, not a whole lot on efficiency, but we definitely gained a lot of hash rate so let's go ahead and start recording some of these numbers real quick. So 3060 Ti coming at 434.6, best one at 54 watts. Anyways, I will continue to put these into the spreadsheet. And once we've got 24 hours worth of uptime, I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, we're back and we are coming up on the 24 hours here. Looks like we got about a minute and a half left. One thing I wanted to point out, I did notice that after 24 hours, the hash rate seems to be settling in a little bit more efficient than it was initially after about 10 minutes or so. Uh, this one dropped to 138 watts instead of 140 something. Uh, this one dropped down a few watts as well. Let's see how much time we got left. Pull up the hive shell real quick. Looks like we're sitting at 20,277 shares. So that is definitely more uh, than 1.63. Let's see. Still just about 30 seconds left to go here. So on this next one, we'll go ahead and take a snapshot. Any minute now. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so 20,300. So let's go ahead and put that in. And as far as efficiency is concerned, uh, I'll just make a mental note of this here 7.460. And we'll just kind of take an average of all of these here. Also, let's take a look at how many shares, or excuse me, how much CASPA we were paid. So we're sitting at 488. And we were at 246. So let me do some math here real quick. 488 minus 246 is 242. Interesting, so we did get paid just slightly less. Anyway, so as far as shares are concerned, uh, the newer version 1.64 did produce a little bit more shares. Uh, as far as efficiency concerned, we're, we're pretty close to the same. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll have a total for you on those, but we're just going to pause here and test BZ minor and by the way uh, during the course of the last 48 hours while recording this BZ minor does have a new version which is going to be 12.2.0 so we'll actually be comparing it to the new version of BZ minor as opposed to the older version so stick around and I'll be right back all right guys since this is a brand new version of BZ minor and I have to do a custom install. I thought I would walk you guys through these steps just in case uh, the newer version is not available in Hive for you. So I went ahead and started the Hive shell. Let's go ahead and jump in here. And we're going to right click here and paste from browser. Right click and paste this command and link. And I will actually leave this particular command in the comments section, not in the description, YouTube does not allow angled brackets in the description. So look in the comments for this. So we're going to hit enter. It's going to take just a moment to install this. While that's installing, let's, uh, you can see the hash rates here compared to the previous LOL 1.64 is significantly less on the 3060s but uh, yeah let's jump back in here to hive shell see where we're at okay it is starting the miner now so all good there we should see after refreshing 12.2 there we go all right so it's installed should start hashing any moment and uh, we'll give it some time and I'll be back. Okay guys, we're coming up on 24 hours on BZMiner 12.2.0. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this here. As you can see, exactly one day. Let's go ahead and see how many shares we got. And there it is, 18,708, which is substantially lower than even the LOL minor 1.63.
So there it is, definitive proof. Let's go ahead and see what we got paid here. So we're sitting at 725. And I'll do the math and uh, we'll come to a conclusion on all of these things after I go ahead and put in all these numbers here. So be right back. Okay, guys, so to give you my final thoughts on this and kind of wrap it all up, when it comes to shares on a pool with non-varying difficulty, LOL Miner version 1.64 came in first, 1.63 came in second, and BZ Miner came in third. However, when it comes to efficiency, uh, based on numbers in software, not necessarily at the wall, it looks like LOL Miner version 1.63 is going to come in first, BZ Miner coming in second, and then lastly, we've got 1.64 on LOL Miner. So you can see it, it's interesting to take a look at what cards in particular perform best on each miner. So a big difference that I noticed on the 3080 Ti uh, was in BZ Miner version 12.2.0. Look how high our hash rate is here, 935 mega hash at 140 watts, as opposed to 895 at 140 watts or 864 at 131 watts. Now, obviously, efficiency was a little bit better on 1.63 compared to 1.64, but if you've got a 3080 Ti card, uh, it's very likely that BZ Miner would be your best option as well as a 3070 Ti card, which is interesting that both these two particular cards are LHR. The rest of these are all, you know, all of these cards are Founders Editions, actually. Um, actually, no, I take that back. This particular 3070 Ti is an Asus Tough. But anyway, they, they are, most of them, with the exception of this particular 3070 Ti, are Founders Editions. But it is odd that LHR cards are performing better on BZ Minor. And then if you take a look at the 3060 Ti, it performed significantly better on LOL Minor version 1.64. And then if you have a 3070 or a 3080, it looks like it's performing best on 1.63. So I just thought these were very interesting side notes. Uh, that I wanted to share with you guys. And I think that's going to wrap it up for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor, hit the like and hit the subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one.